Him and I met at the Garden of Bilal's, the Sunni Muslim restaurant, and we first discussed him and I coming together to discuss scripture. And his concern, he stressed to me, he didn't want uh, anyone asking questions in the audience. I agreed to it. His concern was having someone having opening remarks before him and I so they don't put a dampen on the service. I agreed not to have nobody. We agreed to have dialogue. In fact, he even went as far of expressing his concern. He said, well, brother, the origin of God is a large subject and we can go in a lot of areas. I said, well, let's just keep it on this one topic. Did God create himself out of triple darkness? He said, brother, I agree. That's exactly what we should do. That's why my opening was and re remarks was very brief. So he would have opening brief remarks, letting the people know his stand. Then we both occupy the stage, which will give us chance to question one another, to answer one another from the scriptures. That's dialogue. But instead, <laughs> he want to talk for an hour and a half and then leave. That's mighty cowardness of you. One thing about the nation of Islam, and like I said, we don't hate Muslims. We respect what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad done in the black community. For someone not to respect it, they lack understanding of what was done. But what we were speaking of is beyond self-help, because when you can't help yourself, God can help you. Amen. What we were speaking of is larger than any building that bear the title church or mosque. Because Solomon asked, can I build God a house? He said, the heavens and the heavens of heavens can't contain him, less more the house that I build. So what we supposed to discuss was larger than any natural building. Instead, he tried to play on the minds yes, of the black people that were there. So you don't consider the subject that you came to hear and want to make you think the reason for me and him being at Ben Franklin school was a result of white people? Man. There ain't no white man taught that hell bound lie God came from darkness unless it was for God himself. And to tell me, don't ever mention Farad or Elijah Muhammad and y'all parade around trying to discredit Jesus for being the only scriptural Messiah, you don't know who you talking to.
The nation of Islam posed no challenge to what I preach. God rules. We stand on God's word. And regardless to who you are, see, you made the mistake of thinking that I was a little black Uncle Tom Hanchik of a Christian preacher. You made that mistake. Any man step in this arena? Amen. You better not bring me some book someone else written. Because I'll make you eat it up. I have no interest of no quotations from Farad or Elijah Muhammad. Give me the words of God. Like I've said last night, when it comes to the scriptures, I'm not playing with nobody. <clears throat> Absolutely nobody. Oh, yeah. Religion has played with people for years. We're about serious business. Very serious. This is a heaven or hell situation. And you religions that want to play black like little ignorant black children. Oh, yeah. And you religions that want to play white, mm -hmm. that little ignorant white children, mm -hmm. God will push all of you into hell. Amen. Now, we have with us today from Mississippi, Minister Marvin Muhammad, the leader of what is called the new nation of Islam. Now I hope he don't do like Rodney. <laughs> because if he do, I personally gonna pull his coat. We're gonna let him have some opening remarks about 10, 15 minutes. If he go beyond 10 to 15, or if he go beyond 15 minutes, he will get a gentle tap on the shoulder. And then him and I will occupy up here. Right. Then we'll talk sharp. Right. One with the other. I see. That's right. It will be mighty disrespectful and indecent if he invited me to his house and I came and take up almost two hours and then walk out. That's nothing but sheer ignorance. Amen. Before we bring Brother Marvin Muhammad, we want to say to you that were there, we thank you for taking the time to come. And even though Mr. Rodney Muhammad failed to produce scripture, your act of leaving was an embarrassment to the nation of Islam. He said, I believe I'm a thorn. Keep second, sir. Keep second. Apostle Paul said, is it me? Do I now persuade God? It isn't us trying to persuade you that God is true. It is God's word that you must see that is true. Don't ever let no minister, it doesn't matter what he profess, and I know you at Moss number 12 are watching, but see, you got a lot to think about now. 
Because I don't want no religion and no minister to teach me, then tell me, I don't have to answer you with scripture. We believe what is written. We strive to live by what's written. If need be, we will die standing for what's written. So to my television audience throughout America and to our radio listeners that hear this program around the world, and to you that are here, we want you to give Minister Marvin Muhammad and we thank him for taking the time out to come. Uh, we want you to give him your undivided attention. We're going to ask him to have his opening remarks at the most 15 minutes. And then him and I will get a chance to get into a good orderly dialogue one with the other for the sole purpose of the sake of truth. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Minister Marvin Muhammad. In the name of Allah, pardon me. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the most merciful, the truthful, and the most just. Salam alaikum. Peace be unto you all. First, I want to uh, say that, uh, excuse me. I want everyone to hear what my brother's saying. I want to be sure he's on. All right. All right, brother. Give him some juice. Okay. okay um. <clears throat> for me to, for me to uh, stand up and speak to you, and not, uh, and not acknowledge the one who raised me up would be very disrespectful and disobedient to the word of God. <coughs> For it is written, honor your father and your mother. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad raised me. I, I remember this story in the, the Bible about a man that was blind. And uh, Jesus gave the man sight. And uh, the scribes and Pharisees were angry. So they were always trying to catch Jesus in something. And so they asked the man, you know, what, who made you see? And the man told him it was Jesus. And uh, then uh, they asked him, well, what do you say about this man? Uh, is he of God or is he, you know, what is he? And the man said, whether he be son or a saint, I know not. But all I know, I was blind and now I see. So now, the point is that I'm, I'm not going to stand up here and try to make the Honorable Elijah Muhammad the only messenger of God. Because the scriptures won't allow me to do that. But as a Muslim, I'm not just uh, told to believe in one of God's messengers. The foundation principles of Islam is that you must believe in all of the prophets and in all of the scriptures that they brought. And so that's what, I'm, that's what I believe. Wonderful. Now, this is your house. I was invited to come here. I did not come here to break the peace of your house. As uh, my teacher said when he was asked in his sayings, what was the thing he hated the most? 
and he said a peace breaker and that is very understandable because there's no way that we can claim to be representatives of Allah God the one God and then go around breaking the peace when Allah is the author of peace not of confusion so the only thing that I'm up here to do is to make clear one. the truth that Allah has revealed to me mm -hmm. I didn't come here to hurl insults back and forth with the head of your house I did not come here to insult your intelligence by expecting you to accept something I say that's not based it on based in no scripture I came here to share with you that which Allah has given to me so at any point uh, I, I want to say concerning what was done uh, in the way of uh, what the what your pastor was just complaining about now the Holy Quran says that Allah hates the public utterance of hurt of hurtful speech except by one who has been wronged it, it would be wrong if I stood here and you gave me your ear and then I turn around and walk out when it's your turn to get my ear. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm not going to. One of the only reasons that I decided to come was because, uh, well, generally I go where I'm invited, but like with all things, when we eat physical food, you pull my coat now if I go too far. I, I'm not saying that to be funny, but you know, I, I know I can be long-winded sometimes. When we eat, we eat, but we, our food just lays in our stomach yes, sir. at the immediate time that we ate. It is later on digested. And, and, and either it it adds to our health or it will make us sick but either way it's not taken in immediately except for temporary purposes it is digested later likewise when I talk to people uh, there's a spiritual truth too I may listen to what you say now but I'm not going to digest it until later and where I will accept an invitation because I don't recall Jesus or any messenger of God ever whenever he was invited to go anywhere he accepted their invitation even his disciples asked him about going to Matthew's house but what, well, what you going over that tax collecting stuff and Jesus told them this is your brother who was dead and if we if any of us who say we love God and whether you say you love God through Prophet Muhammad, whether you say you love God through the teachings of Jesus, whether you say you love God through the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, if, if you hate your brother, you don't love God. That's right. Because that's the scripture. Yes, sir. So it, is, it has been long enough for us to hurl stones at one another. My teacher said, if the truth would upset the peace worse than a lie, then you remain silent. You, and cause innocent people to be hurt. Just be quiet. There's a time and a season for all things, mm -hmm. even telling the truth. So I'm, uh, I'm just tired of seeing us divided. And if God's word is one, and it is, his word is one. If Prophet Muhammad and Jesus were sitting here together, they would not be enemies. They would be brethren. If Moses, it's like Jesus told the people who claim they love Moses. He said, had you believed Moses, you would have believed me. For he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, how shall you believe my words? So all of the prophets brought pieces of the messages 
that are in this book. They bought, brought portions of it. And so, the, 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 as, as Paul, I think, Paul, correct me if I'm wrong. Paul said, and now we uh, prophesy in part. What, what do you mean in part? They brought parts of the scriptures here. Each one, you can go in here and find the part that Paul brought. You can find the part that Jesus brought. You can find the part that Isaiah brought. You can find David and Solomon's part. You can find Muhammad's part. Here it is, right here. So, I'm not here to bring any new parts because the, one of the scriptures up here that I have says that Allah completed it. So there are no more prophets to come. And so, you know, we're going to talk to one another. And let me say this. I may disagree with what you say the scripture is talking about. But if you quote the scripture and you talking to me from the scripture, I'm going to shut my mouth and listen to what you're saying. Regardless to what you got out of it. How many times have you been speaking to a person and, and somebody came back and said, well, you know, he said, or she said, such and so. And you said, I didn't say that. You said, yes, you did. You said, so and so. Well, that ain't what I meant. I didn't mean what you got out of that. So the thing that I'm telling you is that I'm not going to come to you with no new scriptures. But I am going to come to you today with some new understanding of what uh, you've already understood from the book. So if it's the understanding that Allah has given me of that, then now that is what I will die for. That is what I will live for. Now, I'm not telling you that you have to do that. Because salvation is a gift. And if you know anything about a gift, when you offer it, don't nobody have to take it. Is that right? Yes, sir. So the scripture said, behold, I stand. It didn't say I come there and break it down. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see, I stand there and knock. That's right. And if any man will hear, I will come in and sup with him. So, you know, there ain't no compulsion in religion. That's what, the, that's what Prophet Muhammad said. That's saying the same thing. Nobody is going to force nobody to accept the truth. You can't, whether you want to or not. That's true. Yes, that's true. So I, got to, I ain't got to get mad with you. And you ain't got to get mad with me. That's right. But if I came here, I do have to hear you. And that means you got to hear me too. Yes, sir. Come on up here, bro. <laughs> say I'm very thankful for those wonderful remarks by Minister Marvin Muhammad. We thank God for him taking the time uh, to come all the way from Mississippi, you that accompany him. We're glad for you that are here. Make yourselves at home. Um, uh, we done already discussed, I mean, with what's well, supposed to have the discussion last night about God coming out of triple darkness, but we, we can go on to uh, other matters. But one thing that I would uh, Perhaps maybe you can give some of the folks that are watching and some that are here a little background of yourself. When did you come into the nation? Oh, I came in in uh, 1973. 1973. Yes, I believe sir. that was, uh, what, two years before the, the messenger passed? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, is one subject that has been of great controversy for quite a number of years, and that is the teaching of the white man being the devil. And I believe it ought to be a very good, interesting subject <laughs> to discuss today. And the reason why I say that, because in reading so much material written by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Supreme Wisdom, the message to the black man, one quote in the book, the message to the black man, there's a white man cannot be a Muslim because he's white and by nature he is evil. Now, uh, tell me, brother, your scriptural views about white brothers and sisters, and is it possible 
for them to be in the nation of Islam? As far as, uh, this, is what, this is what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said concerning white people being Muslims. He said, by faith, they can be Muslims. He said, but by nature, they are not. If, and the greatest, the greatest proof of that is that all of the scriptures that we have, we got from them, from white people. Uh, the Bible, it came to us through their hands. The Holy Quran came to us through their hands. Now, understand something. I'm not saying that they are the author of these books. I mean, I got medicine at my house, uh, but it, I'm not the one that, that produced the medicine. I got some in my medicine cabinet, I'm sure you do too. But the medicine didn't come from me. It came from a higher intelligence in that area than me. So, I know that a fish swims in water and he don't have to be taught how. But, a, but me and you who are not fish, we have to be taught how to swim. If Caucasian people were Muslim by nature, they wouldn't have had to be taught righteousness. They would not have had to be taught. It's just like you and I, we take things for granted. When, when I was a child, I used to say things like, like I'd be playing with something and, and I'd let my little friend play with it. And uh, then he wouldn't do me like that. He might would miss it. wouldn't let me play with his. And I'd say, well, I'd go tell my mother, tell my daddy, you, 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 I'd let him play with mine. He won't let me play with his. And I expected them to make him do right. Because that was nature in me, like in all of our little children. Nature tells them to do unto others as you'd have others do unto you. That's what I'm saying. Now, I, I, I didn't, I, when I say you don't have to be taught righteousness, that's what I meant. I don't mean that you don't have to be taught the precepts of God. If we didn't have to be taught it, God wouldn't have sent it. But, but I'm saying that there's certain things that, that if you look at history, and we'll get into the depths of scripture on it. But if you look at the history of a person, the works of a man tell you what he is. If you enslave me, if you, you lynch me and rape my grandmother and, and cut babies out of my grandfather, I mean out of my grandmother and castrate my grandfather, put his, tie him between two horses and put tar on him, and set him on fire and then beat the horses and make them pull his body apart and make my grandmother stand there while she's pregnant and watch you do that. There's no way you can tell me you have a conscience. Let me ask you something, brother, before we even get into the scriptures. In the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in reference to white people. Yes, sir. His teaching was all white people were devils. Yes, sir. Now. By nature. And that's indicting a whole race. By nature. Mm -hmm. Is a black man of the devil by nature? No, not by nature. But it's like, it's like the messenger said, if a, if a Caucasian can be a Muslim by faith, mm -hmm. by believing in the word of God and acting on it, who, we can't tell nobody you can't be righteous. Only a fool would say that. Mm -hmm. But by nature, he's not righteous. But he can practice righteousness. By nature, you are not evil. But we practice evil. Oh, wait a minute, that's a contradiction. No, brother. you asked me about the black man. I was just answering your question. So are you saying that a, a person is, a black man is born righteous by nature? With a righteous nature? Yes, sir. But how can he be born with a righteous nature and when he's born, he's not of God. He's not even, he don't even have the knowledge of God nor the knowledge of himself. And the nature that he has is a sinful nature. That's what we need to be discussing. All right. From the scripture. Then we can get into that and also further. In the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, uh, the white man supposed to came into existence from a brown germ extracted from the black man, yes, correct? Sir. Yes, sir. And the white man is supposed to have been created by the scientist Yaku. Yes, sir. Made. Made. made so God didn't make him. The scientist made him. Well, that's what, that's what the messenger was saying. 
that Yaqub was God. Now, now we got to go to work. Now, so, say so go ahead, brother. Um, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad didn't just throw words out. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad defined what he meant by what he said. He said that God means the possessor of power and force. And when uh, he also taught us that knowledge is power, that's one of the reasons why the scripture referred to us as gods. Mm -hmm. Because every person has some knowledge, then every person is God. So, but go ahead, brother. Oh, go ahead. You're, the the the, the master of all creation, the God of the heavens that created the heavens and the earth, he's the originator of the black man. He created the black man. He's the best knower. Yes, sir. And when you say created the black man, then if you understand what you're saying, that is correct. But so, if you don't understand what you're saying, then you are you are making God a formless spirit and this this uh, is not uh, what the scripture is saying it no. says that there was no God formed before me mm -hmm. that's what the scripture says you see and there was no God formed before the first man for the scripture says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and what are you saying what was with God? and 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 the scripture is, is telling you it's just like if I said in the beginning was this temple, mm -hmm. and the, and the, the temple was with uh, um, uh, Apostle Jennings, well, you know they they came together. There was no word formed until it was in someone's mouth. There was thought, but there was no words, because we know that words is made by sound. All right, and sound is caused by objects passing through atmosphere with moisture in it. Well, see, now you're getting back into the nature of God, and we can pick it up later. Oh, yes, sir. The scientist Yaku, he was God? He was a God, yes. He was a God. Yes, and he was the best knower at that time. So the God that created the moon and the stars and the heavens, he didn't create white man? Yes. Yakub was the God that created... Understand now. No, well, I'm asking you a okay. question. That's what I'm that's Are what you I'm saying you. that the man who named, who was called Yakub, this scientist, he was the same God that created the moon and the stars and the heavens that we see? Yes. Where is that at in the scriptures? No, well, I'm, I'm, I'm about to show you okay. in the, uh, what, what was being said you just misunderstood. Okay. You I guess, see, I, Jesus... Yes, make me understand. Jesus, when Jesus was here... Jesus was God's representative and the only representative at that time. And, if, and, 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 and this was not no different mind that from the original originator of the heavens and the earth. <clears throat> that was the same God speaking through Jesus. The vessel changes. The mind continues. That's all I'm saying. And that's all the messenger was saying. Is... You believe in the Quran? Yes. You are devout Muslim? Yes. Yaqub is in the Quran? Yes, sir. But under another name. The, show well, us. Uh, in the second wait a chapter. Minute, before you get into it, show us in the Quran or the Bible where it teaches God took a brown germ from a black man and created white people. It says we created man from sperm mixed with ovum. Um, find that for me, Brother Oni or Brother James. The brown germ is in sperm. That's, that, and and when, when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said brown germ, he was not speaking of, uh, uh, you know sperm is not brown. Sperm is, 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 is colorless. It is white. But the that's what white is. It's the absence of color. So God didn't make all colors? Just, just a moment. Where, brother? I'm, 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 not, I'm not finished. <laughs> now, the, the, the brown germ was talking about, there are two people in the black man. There's, a, there's the black and there is brown. Now, the black, you cannot get the white out of that 
black, it will just keep reproducing the black. But the brown, you can get a yellow people and a white people out of that germ, just like the white mouse. You notice you never saw a white mouse in your house. But you have seen a white mouse in a laboratory. Now, where did the white mouse come from? He came from the gray mouse. What? Chapter 22, verse 5. See, now this is one of the reasons why I came here to Pastor Jennings. Now, this is the Pastor Jennings that I saw on that tape. You cannot get angry with a man for asking you to show him what you're saying. You know, and he's given, he, he gave, I saw him give everybody the opportunity. To, they could have taken him to this if they had known it was in there. I mean, if a man asks you a question about what you teach, and you know what the messenger said? He said, brother, if I can't question you about what you're teaching, I'm afraid you're trying to stop me from learning what you're teaching. So I'm not angry with you, brother, for asking me questions. Oh, I hope not, brother. And I'm not angry with you for questioning what the messenger said. For after all, the messenger was a man. All of the prophets were men. And in that sense, they were no better than anybody else. The only thing that make a messenger of God better than us is that the knowledge that he has came from the supreme mind of the universe. Now, that's what makes him worthy of honor. And as it's written that you must submit to the higher powers. Now, what, what verse is that? Verse 5. Oh, people, if you are in doubt about the resurrection, then surely we created you from dust, then from a small life germ. You see? Now that, now what kind of life germ? That's what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he finished the equation. That's all. Oh, he didn't he, change nothing that this he finished scripture. It. When, I, when I say finished it, Allah was guiding him through the understanding of it, brother. Now, wait a minute, brother. If he's going to say that that meant that white people was pulled out of black people, it is written. The Apostle Paul says this. Having this hope, we speak with great plainness of speech. Right. When God talked to Moses... He said, with him shall I speak mouth to mouth, not in dark speeches, even apparently. Mm -hmm. So, if this Yaqub, supposedly, as they call him, the big head scientists, created the white man, you know, you can keep looking. No, I'm going to find this. Um, I want the scripture that says how the white man come from the black man and was created by the scientists. Okay. It says, now as I told you, it's all in your interpretation of what you're reading. There's only two just interpretations, right and wrong. If you, if you read a thing, just like when a person speaks to you, now, just because you are speaking, that does not mean that the thoughts that you had in your mind is being conveyed intact with the, to the mind of the person to whom you are speaking. For as you know yourself, you are not the supreme God and people misunderstand you. Don't they? Well, likewise. I mean, is, is, this is God's word. This is not just a, something that some, somebody jumped off the block as you said from the hood as he said my thoughts are not your thoughts and my ways are not your ways and so when the honorable elijah muhammad said to me when i read message to the black man where he said yaku was sitting down with two pieces of steel he was a little boy six years old and he looked up at his uncle and he said, Uncle, when I become an old man, I'm going to make a people that will rule you. Now, Yakub was playing with two pieces of steel. One had magnetism in it, and the other one had none. Mm -hmm. Now, I said to myself, the same thing he said. I ain't read that nowhere in the scripture. And uh, then, 
The Honorable Elijah Muhammad uh, said that his uncle looked at Yaqub and said, what will you make but something that will make mischief and shed blood in the land? Now that I read in the scripture, but it didn't say Yaqub. It simply said, and when thy Lord said to the angels, I'm going to place a ruler in the earth. They said, wilt thou place in it such as make mischief in it and shed blood? And we celebrate thy praise and extol thy holiness. He said, surely I know what you know not. Ya the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, Yaqub told his uncle when he said that, oh, uncle, I know something that you don't know. So when I read that, even though it did not say Yaqub, I understood that that's who it was referring to. Well, there's a problem. Because listening at you earlier, I asked you if I'm correct, was Yaqub the one that made the heavens and the earth? You said it was the same one, right? I said it was the same mind. You said it was the same, you know, you said it was the same no, one. I said it was the same mind. The same mind? Yes, sir. To the same mind that was in him? Yes. And who, and what was that mind in him? The mind of God? The mind of God. That's and, what God is. And God the, is spirit. God is spirit? Yes. Oh, you don't believe God is a human being? Flesh cannot be God. Oh, well, that's one difference Flesh he got is from the, the nation. Temple. Oh, wait, wait a minute, listen now. No, what I'm saying Whenever, is, that's, that's, no, that's no, a no, 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 you're not letting me finish. You're not understand what I'm saying. I said that's one thing different that he had from the nation. Right. No, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad always taught that. Well, let me, I told you I would bring you something. Well, well you, you can get it, but the reason why I say that, because in mind dealing what well, you heard Rodney said last night, God is nothing but a man. Right. Well, he said Rodney nothing was more not the one. than a man. See, all y'all say y'all are messengers. Now, just a moment. Just a moment. We can clear that up. All right. We don't have to. Then, then we get back this, to the white I brought brothers this and sisters. So we don't have to go back and forth. Yeah. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, if you are dealing with truth, you are dealing with Allah. Now, that's in the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran in chapter t uh, 22 and the sixth verse it says, that is because Allah, He is the truth. I agree. I okay, agree. So, God is the truth. So we, we, as Jesus said, the flesh, flesh don't make you God. Flesh and blood is not God. Flesh and, the flesh, that which is born of flesh, is flesh. Tell me something then. I, that, I agree. Yeah, yes, sir. Your group, the new, the, the new Nation of Islam, can white people be a part of it? White people can be Muslims, but we do not believe in integration. No, sir, they can't come into the nation of Islam. Not Why not? The new nation of Islam. Because, Why not? Because... But you emphasize it was me, created with the mind of let God. Me, let me, uh, as the Holy Quran says, that if Allah had desired, he could have made you all the same, but that you might know one another. It didn't say that you might get uh, back and forth integrating with each other. Well, there's... If every, if every people start intermixing and going on with each other, soon you won't have black, you won't have yellow, you won't have brown, you won't have no That brings us to another problem. problem. That brings us to another problem then. You got a mixed founder. Beg your pardon? <laughs> no, sir. Farad wasn't mixed? No, just a moment. Just let, me, a moment. let me finish. Let me finish. Just a moment. Let me finish. It is often quoted that he was part original man. Mm -hmm. And the explanation was that one of his parents was black, and one of his parents was white. Mm -hmm. Now, how can he teach the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and yet his skin, you know, was white? That's what I was telling you. It, is not, it has never been about white skin being devil or black skin being God. That's not, that's not what we was but uh, my, my, my point of going there is you said that you don't integrate. No. We're talking about plain and simple. If Islam is the religion of God and you quote it from the Quran, yes. Allah is truth. Yes. That's right. And the scripture says in the Bible, hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Okay. If Islam is the religion of God, is it one? A universal religion for all people mm -hmm. or is it just black people allowed to be in it well since you put it like that let me let me answer you 
Islam for the black man is doing that which is in accord with his nature. Islam for the white man is doing that which is in accord with his nature. Just like Islam for a bird is doing that which is in accord with the nature in which God created it. Meaning what? Islam for, I think you know what I mean. No, I want, I want everybody to understand what you mean. They, know, they understand. No, we're not going to assume. Do you understand them? Oh, okay. All right, let's explain. Okay. Let's explain what Islam is doing All right. for white people My, and I, for black people. I have people. a question that will help you understand. Where did the hog get his nature from? Hmm. Is he one of God's creatures? Then who gave him his nature? You don't know? Well then when a hog is doing his nasty thing, then is he doing according to the will of God? Yes, that's what I meant. So, if But now if I go, now if I go, and practice what a hog does mm -hmm. while I'm not a hog, then am I in accord with God's will? No. But I can't jump on the hog and say, well, if I'm nasty, if I'm nasty and he condemning me, then he got to condemn you too. Because you, no, because the hog is what he is by nature. It's just like you and me. You, you and I, if we say, as the book says, you believe there's one God? Well, you do well, but the devils also believe in trouble. Now, if the devils believe that there's one God, then, then it seemed to me that you and me, if we believe that there's one God and the devils believe it and they're faithful to it, why don't we integrate with them? But the scripture says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So was that saying resist white people? Yes. Oh, where did it say that at? Uh, let me, that let's says resist white that. people. It's time that I show you in the book. Yeah. The white it, man it, is the devil. It's time. It's time. It's time. Turn to Revelation. You turn to it with me now. You read it too. Oh, he you? script has it. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to go to Revelation, the sixth chapter. The sixth chapter. And the eighth verse. Mm -hmm. Now, what did the uh, what did the Indians used to call the white man? Pale face. Pale face. Mm -hmm. Pale face, right? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, brother. That's what the white man said. Let's get to your scripture. Come and on. I, and I and and I want to say this to our to to our camera camera people. I want you to understand something. I'm not in here to make fun of you. You did not make yourself. Well, let me say this. And, I don't and mean so to cut you I, off, I'm but not, let me say I, this. I didn't, I didn't even notice them standing well, there. Well, see, let me say this. My, 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 my brothers that are here on the cameras. All right. Well, I just want you to know that believe I'm me, not here they're, to make They're fun very of you. much familiar <laughs> all right. with what you believe. Now. So I don't believe that you would offend them at all. Uh, well, that, that's, I just want you to know. I just want all of you to know yeah. that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad did not raise us up to be foolish and disrespectful. All right. So I, uh, I'm saying what I'm saying because of what I understand the scriptures to mean. All right. Do you understand? All right. Okay. Let's listen to Now it says, and I looked, mm -hmm. and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death. And hell followed with him. Now, I know that the scriptures don't literally mean a physical horse. So I know that the scripture is talking about, since it's talking to people, it's talking about people. Do no good to talk to people about animals. So, when the scripture says, I beheld a pale horse, I beheld a pale people. Mm. And when it says, and his rider, he that sat upon him was death. Now, what did the scripture mean when it said death? In Proverbs, it says, he that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. 
So when you don't have the proper understanding of the word of God, then in the sight of God, you are dead. Imagine. So now, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I got to explain it. It takes no, a little ahead. while to go explain ahead, these things. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Now, when we were first brought to America, it wasn't something that we did for no vacation. It was, it was done to us by way of stealing us from Africa and bringing us over here, not on the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, but in the holes of the slave ship. And we were not brought over here to be uh, enlightened. We were brought over here to be taken into unenlightenment. Mm -hmm. And anytime you take a person into unenlightenment, you are taking them into death. And so who is the rider of that horse but death? That pale man is the one that came to Africa and got us from Africa and brought us over here and stripped us of all the knowledge of our God, of our religion, of our culture, of ourselves. All right, let me ask He put death on us. All right, let me ask you a question. <clears throat> so that means <clears throat> the white man being that old slave master, Are you persecuting black brothers and sisters according to history, and history is best qualified to reward our research that would make his actions the acts of the devil. Well, the scripture says you know a man by his works. So if a black man do the same thing, will he also be on that pale horse? Well, brother, this is my point. If you had found, if you had found any in the history of black people, if you had found any of us doing what white people did, then this wouldn't say I beheld a pale horse. Well, hold it. It would say I beheld a black horse. Hold it. Now, the Europeans introduced slavery to America. To America. Africa have enslaved African people right. before white brothers and sisters step on American soil, and you know it. Right. You know your history, you know it. But let's get it straight. Let's African, get it straight. Hold it, just a minute now. African brothers and sisters, even Arab nations, to this day, still have slavery. Amen. So now, according, even according to the teachings of the Nation of Islam, now, <laughs> The Israelites, the early Hebrews, were black people. Agree? Well, I'm, uh, according to what you're saying, go. No, according to what I listened to, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Minister Farrakhan, and others, that the Israelites that was in bondage, whom Moses delivered, were black people under the hands of the Egyptians. The and the Elijah Egyptians, well, I'm just going by what. Uh, they often say, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said this as the ministers always quote. But let me get back to what I'm saying. Uh, the Hebrews was considered originally black people. Right. If you know your history, you will see that. Mm -hmm. Now, the Egyptians were black people. That's right. All that's Africa. That's right. Pharaoh who helped the Egyptians was a black man. That's right. Moses came from the regions of Africa. These events took place in a country of color. That's right. Not in Rome, Italy. That's right. Not in Spain, mm -hmm. but in a continent of color. Amen. So, Pharaoh, being a black man, according to history, mm -hmm. and if the Egyptians were black people keeping the Hebrews in bondage, right. would that not be a black on black crime? Because we cannot teach slavery in part and call white folk devils. Right for the wickedness they done to black people 
but never address a black man as a devil or a wicked one mm -hmm. who afflict the same wickedness on black people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, if you're going to quote history, let's quote it properly. You and I both know that the kind of slavery that, that they call slavery here in America was not what was taking place in Africa. Mm. You and I both know that. There has never been a people suffered the things in slavery that, that we suffered in this country. Nobody. No black man, there's no documented history, actually, of any people ever being in bondage in Egypt. There's no documented history. That is a prophecy. And the prophecy is talking about you and me here in America. I, I figured he'd say that. <laughs> but now, like I said, Go ahead, brother. like I said, now, you, you know, you have your understanding of the scripture. Well, that's, that's your understanding. Okay, go ahead, brother. But don't get angry with me for having mine. No, I'm not going to get angry right. with you. Go ahead, brother. Now, if you can show me any documented history, and I brought a checkbook with me, you show me any documented history of black people doing any people like we was done in America, and I'll write you a check today for $10,000. <clears> Give <throat> me the book of Exodus. In Exodus chapter 1. First, we'll start at verse 8. Let's get in the book then. Let's dive into the scriptures. All right. Amen. Now, he used the term, it was prophecy. Prophecy is that which is foretold about an event to take place. Mm -hmm. So that means the event didn't take place yet if it was about to take place. But, right. If you got an actual event taking place in scripture, then a event that come later can just imitate mm -hmm. what have already been, but that doesn't mean it haven't happened. That's right. Are you That's listening? Right. Amen. It doesn't mean it didn't happen. That's right. It just imitated what had already took place. Listen in Exodus, at the Bible. In Exodus chapter 1, we'll begin reading at verse 8. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt. There arose up. If it was prophecy, it would be there was, there shall be. Right. It's going to be. That's right. See, prophecy aims at what's going to be, and the language of prophecy for an event to come is not, it happened. Amen. Listen. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also to our enemies and fight against us and so get them up out of the land. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Python and Ramesses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the, and the Egyptians made the children of no, Israel. No, no, no. The Americans. And the Egyptians. No, the Americans. And the Egyptians. I agree that the black man have not been treated with honor and respect in America. Amen. I agree with that 100%. Mm -hmm. But do not tell me right. this didn't happen in Egypt. That's right. Now, uh, let me say this. Are you saying that Moses was not a prophet? No, I'm not saying Moses was not a prophet. Well, then this is prophecy. Lord. Listen, that, that, no, that don't work. No, because let, 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 let me just make a, a plan. Let me, let, let, me, let me go further with that. All right, are, are, you, no. are you a prophet? No. Are you a minister? 
I'm the son of man. You're a minister. I'm the son of man. But you said minister Marvin Muhammad. You're a minister. No, you said that. That's what you said on the phone. Minister means sir. Now I've told you. All right. You call yourself the son of man. Yes. If you want to call yourself the son of man, fine. The bottom line, you only can be a servant. That's right. That's all minister means, servant. That's right. That's all right. Go ahead. All right, son, man. Well, actually, minister does not mean that. Well, minister, you serve. No, Jesus minister said, means to teach. Uh, Jesus said, I didn't come to be ministered to, I come to minister. If you're teaching the people, you're serving them the no, words no, of no. God. Well, you said minister, you said minister meant to serve. That's all. And minister. that's not what minister means. That's all minister. minister if you're teaching the people, are you serving them? The word minister means to teach. Are you serving them? I'm serving God. Hmm. All right, never mind. Never anyway, mind. let's get into this. <laughs> Listen, brothers and sisters. For him to ask me, was Moses a prophet? Right. And because something is written, right. it has to be prophecy. Well, God moved on the prophets, one, to foretell events to go and to come, right. two, to actually act as a warner to the people of their time. That's right. That's right. They didn't just walk around and talk about what was going to be. They didn't do nothing. What was going to be? What was going to be? These men lived right. and act out and demonstrated the power of God in their time. That's right. Okay. God said, because God told Moses, how he shall be as a God, as a God to Pharaoh. unto Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. God said to Moses, I am that I am. That's right. Moses saw the bush burning. He was a prophet, but he wasn't prophesying about a burning bush coming. Right. That's right. He witnessed it. He seen it. Right. Now, let me say, Go let ahead, me say, brother. Let me say this. Now, when when God speaks a thing, he knows the end of the thing at the beginning of the thing. And when God reveals a thing, if you say it is prophecy, then the prophecy is in the book of God. Now the fulfillment of it, the fulfillment of it is in your history book. Now show me in somebody's history book where the people was in bondage in Egypt. This is is this history? This is it. No, that's prophecy. This that's, that's the prophecy. Now you show me the fulfillment of it in the history book. Now, this is history. History. If he actually thinks history is just in a school, I question you being the son of man. Amen. <laughs> well, you got a right to do that. Because we gotta hear. Amen. When we pick up this book, we are reading history. That's right. But what you when are reading, a Muslim pick up the Quran, he's reading the history of the Prophet Muhammad. That's right. He's what? reading the history of how Muhammad lived, I his don't experience deny with Gabriel. He's reading his history. I, so how can you stand and tell me this isn't history? I don't. I didn't stand here and oh. say that. Oh. You were. <laughs> The scriptures you are, you are threefold, past, right, present, right. and future. Amen. You are not listening to me. That's what the scriptures deal with. Amen. Past, present, and future. You are not listening to me. Go ahead, brother. The, the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran, as I told you, when God speaks a thing, he knows the end of it at the beginning of it. I agree. And therefore, when he speaks about it happening, he speaks about it in the past tense because it has happened as far as he is concerned. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the fulfillment of it, the only reason you have... Is the, the, the scripture is referred to as signs. And the same way that when you drive the highway physically out on the road, you see signs on the side of the road warning you of what's up ahead. Now, the sign is not the thing that you are being warned about. The sign is the thing that is put there to let you know what's up ahead. And, beg your pardon? Go ahead, brother. Don't, 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 let's, let, don't interrupt him, brother. Let me go ahead. No, I don't, I don't teach like that. If the brother got something he wanted, whatever you have, you want to say something? You, you, 
Okay, well, if, if in your mind you don't think that it's proper, <laughs> that's fine. You know, you have a right to that uh, view, brother. Go ahead, brother. Now, uh, like I told you before, I'm giving you the understanding that I have gotten from Allah of this. That's up to you to accept it or not. Well, something's wrong, now, brother. Now, the, Go ahead. the scripture is like for the highway of life, like the signs out there on the road is for the highways on the road. And now it's up to you to read them, and then when you see what you were warned about, you look for it in reality. For if, if it does no good for us to have prophecy if we don't see the fulfillment of the prophecy. What, you're supposed to be looking for it to come to pass. And so all I'm asking you is I know that the, that the slavery was supposed to take place. But until you show me another people that has served another people for 400 years in history books other than in the prophet, prophetic books, I can show you the 400 years of slavery in the American history books. Now I'm asking you to show me in Egyptian history where they had people in slavery. We're dealing That's with all I'm asking you. Let's, let's get back to here. Is that too much to ask? Let's get back to here because if he don't want this, he don't need to go nowhere. Unless you, unless you say this is a lie. Is this true? Now, are you, are you, you honestly think that I you believe justified, what's written. Do you honestly think that you were justified in what you just asked me? Oh, yes. yes. I would ask any man that, including you. Okay. Well, brother, uh, you're not exempted, brother, you're not exempted for me asking you, believe, is this a lie? If I did not believe in these books, brother, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have brought them up here with me. Well, something's wrong. You, oh, so now so, I'm telling you, the only thing that's wrong is that you have a different understanding of it than I do. Well, let me ask you a question. Moses never led people out of Egypt in the scriptures. That is a prophetic story. So Moses never talked to the burning bush. It never happened. The burning bush, mm. you want me to tell you my understanding of that? Oh, please do. Okay. The burning bush, if the, the, the reason that it is called a bush, it is not talking really about a bush. It's talking about the word of God that has, bu has been put in a bush-like form. And now that... Now, you know, when you come to visit me, I'm going to show you how to treat guests. Because I don't do that. You don't do what? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not mocking you. I'm sharing my thoughts with you. Even if you disagreed with my thoughts, why, why mock me? I don't think, I mean, is y'all mocking the I mean, brother? I don't think they're mocking the, the brother. That is not the way. I, I don't believe that we're mocking you, brother, but see, you keep No, the thing is, when I'm explaining, when, I'm, when you're explaining to me, when you're explaining to me what you got out of a scripture, I listen. I don't grunt. I don't, I don't make faces. I just listen. No, I'm sorry if I'm because, making... <laughs> because that, that is... That is just that is just the way of civilized people. Well, brother, if, forgive me if I'm making a face. No, no reason I'm not why. talking about you. No, but I'm talking about me. I'm talking and the only reason why, why because <laughs> you you saying that you understand the scriptures, but it is written, your ear tries words, as the mouth doeth meats. Right. It's also written, does our law judge any man before it hear him? But I'm listening to no, you. No, but you're not hearing me out. Okay, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. The Bible says, and they now, went I'm on. I'm telling you that the burning bush is these scriptures here that's talking to me. Now, that's it. That's it in a capsulized form. I was going to lay a foundation for it so that you could get understanding, but that is it. The, that the, the scriptures is talking to me. They are on fire and they are not consumed because the fire is a spiritual fire. Now, now let's so, go to the next. So one. Moses ain't never talked to no burning bush. I'm talking to the burning bush now. You Moses? Yes. Are you Jesus? When you say Jesus. Are you Jesus the Messiah? I'm the son of man. Are you the Messiah? I'm not the one that brought the gospel. Are you the Messiah? Yes. Are you the Messiah? I'm the Lamb of God. My Lord. In the volume of the book, I my come. Lord, my you Lord. are? That's me. 
You in some hot water now. All right. You're the Lamb of God to yeah. take away the sins of the world. Yes. My Lord. Prove it. Okay. Thank you. So you're saying he's Christ. All right. That's what Amen. he's saying. He's what Christ, he's right? No. Amen. Oh, yeah. Listen. Look. Look. You saying now, you're Christ? I have not once tried to put any words in your mouth. So, you said you're the Lamb so of God, don't, brother. Don't put words in my mouth. Let me tell you who I am. All right, tell us who you don't are. You, don't let's you get tell busy and go to work. Am. Amen. Okay. Now, let's start off in the uh, fifth chapter of Revelation. Mm -hmm. It says, I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the, on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. Now, do you want to give your understanding of that first or you want me no, to? No, because see, now you're supposed to be talking about yourself. Okay. I want you to just go ahead. All right. <laughs> the book is referring to the Bible and the Holy Quran. They are actually one book. Then it says, And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy? to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. The, when it says who is worthy, it is referring uh, to the uh, uh, word able. It's just like when you know a ship can go out on sea and float without sinking, you say it is seaworthy. Well, when it says who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. Now the seals, which are seven, are referring to the, the seven things that God hates, which keeps his the understanding of his word closed to you regardless to how much you open up these physical books and try to read them if you are too proud if you have a, 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 a heart that divides it wicked imaginations turn to the, the sixth chapter of Proverbs for me and the 16th verse and read that for God hates proud people and and so pride is a, a seal that keeps us from Understanding God's word, if we are too proud, self-exalted. Read it, brother. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 16. These six things doeth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, yes. and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, yes. feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, mm -hmm. and he that soweth discord among brethren. Okay, that's seven things. And as long as we are guilty of those things, then the book remains closed to us. But the scripture asked the question uh, about uh, who have prevailed. Let's read the next book. It says, and no man in heaven, that means no prophet, no one that had been sent from God, no man in heaven or the earth, neither under the earth, meaning nobody who had passed on or nobody who was present on the earth. Then it says, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. You know, in order to say that you have opened the Bible or opened the Quran, in order to say you have truly opened it, you would have had to open it and understood what you read. But if you did not understand what you read, it was the same as, as though it was closed to you, even though you had it open. So now it says, and I wept. Now these are prophets talking. This is the revelator John talking here. He said, and I wept. He cried because he couldn't understand it either. He said, I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, weep not. For behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, and have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. That's you? Now, yes. You come from the and tribe of Judah? Actually, it should have been tribe of Shabbat. But oh, wait a minute. For the sake of... Wait the a sake minute. Of you come from the root of David? I am the root of David. So this is talking about you? you yes. It's all, right. all talking about me. Let's see. Give now, me Romans chapter 1. Okay. Amen. Verse Romans, three. Romans chapter 1 and at verse 3 He also says he's the Messiah We're going to see okay. 
Follow me. Romans chapter 1 and verse 3. I want to soak you a little. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, mm -hmm. which was made of the seed of David, mm -hmm. according to the flesh. Now, the root of David, the scripture says, Hath not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David out of the town of Bethlehem, where David was? So he says he is that root and offspring of David. David. The Messiah. Right. Somebody lying. Somebody. Now, first I told you I'm the root of David. I mm -hmm. didn't say I was the offspring of David. If you're the root of a thing. You are where that thing gets its life from. And do you spring from that thing? No. Did you, you spring from thing, Elijah Muhammad? The thing springs from you. <laughs> Listen. The root of a thing. If you know anything about, about agriculture, you know that the root of a thing is, is the, the thing that nourishes the new creation right. to life. Right. The, the crown of the root is where all of the root is made one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then from the crown comes the new creation. And the new creation. And what I'm telling you is that I am all of the prophets in one man. And the new creation that came out the ground sprung from the root. The new creation, I'm the beginning of God's new creation. You're the beginning of yes. it? Yes. You are. I'm the beginning and the ending of it. Show me, show me Marvin Muhammad in here. <laughs> I'll show you myself in here. Show me. First, I'll show you before, what I before, did. before he try to find himself. Just a, just a moment. Let's, let, let's let, not, let, don't let, do let, that. Let me finish, brother. No, I ain't doing that to you. Well, you may not be doing that to me, but I am telling you, I am going to do that to you. <laughs> because nobody, and it doesn't make a difference to me who you are. That's right. It's going to come in my presence. Are you mad at me now? Not at all. All right. Okay. The Bible said I force the right okay. words. Okay, well, I love you anyway. That's nice, and I love you too. But anyway. <laughs> uh, nobody. Nobody. Amen. It's going to come in my presence. Number one. Now you just told me to do something. Now you gonna let me do it? Yes, but I'm mean, gonna let me finish, oh, brother. Right. I get to you. <laughs> okay. He said he's all the prophets rolled up in one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Basically, he's just like saying he's the seal. That's right. Of the prophets. No, no, that's not what they're saying. You ask me what I mean by that. Don't you interpret right. what I say? If he's you ask all, me what I mean. He's by that. Ezekiel, Jeremiah. The prophet Muhammad, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus, the Messiah, mm -hmm. all rolled up in one. Now the Christ. Can. I'm their son. No, the Christ. I said, I'm their son. Christ. Was he a prophet? And you said you no. all the prophets rolled up when in you, one. When you talk right? about Christ, you're not talking about the one individual. The scripture says in Corinthians 12 and 12. Get it, brother. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 12. Yes. For now, as the I'll body me, is one. You correct me if I do it wrong, if I read it wrong. It says, for as the body is one, mm -hmm. meaning as our bodies here, is one body, mm -hmm. and have many members, and all they being many are one body, so also is Christ. Meaning what? That means that my finger, if it could talk, now it would say I'm Marvin Muhammad. Now, if my feet could talk, my foot would say, I'm Marvin Muhammad. But actually, no one member by himself is Marvin Muhammad. The whole body is Marvin Muhammad. The whole, the, all of the prophets together are the body of Christ. And I am their head. You're the head. You're the head of the body. Yes. Bad man. Yeah. Now let me go in. No, no, no. Let let's, me let's go stop on right in. there. Just stop right there. He's the head. Mm -hmm. Let's compare what he said mm -hmm. with what the Bible said. In Ephesians chapter 5 and, yes. at, and at verse 23. Mm -hmm. for you, the, you see what happened when the devil make a fool out of you? Amen. You see what the Bible said? Let no man think no higher than he ought to think, but think soberly. Soberly. When you think higher than you ought to think and think you the head, That's right. you the head of the body. My Lord. Listen. In Ephesians chapter 5 and at verse 23. 
For the husband is the head of the wife. Yeah. Even as Christ is the head of the church. Was that talking about you? The prophets. Was that talking about you? The prophets are the head of all churches. Christ is and the head of the church. The Bible says Just a Christ. And I'm telling you what that means. Mean what? It means that, like for this church, you believe mostly in the teachings of the gospel of Jesus. We believe in and all the prophets from moment, Genesis to Revelation. Just a moment. I don't, I don't see a whole lot of people with holy Qurans in here. But most of you say that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Now that's what you've been saying. Referring to what? You say Jesus is your Lord and Savior. You I know, know what we're referring to? What, what are you referring to? We're talking about the spirit that was in him. Okay, right. well that's, that now, now, yeah. okay. Then, but the spirit that was in Muhammad was the same spirit that was in Jesus. But we're not talking about just, Muhammad. Just a moment. You say you're just Christ. Yes, I didn't say I'm Christ. I said I'm their head. You're Jesus' head? I'm all of them's head. My Lord. And let me prove it. I don't, we done played with All we enough. got is just another false prophet. Let's don't play with it. We ain't got nothing more. No. We ain't got nothing more. Okay, well, you know what? If you're going to call me false without hearing me out, but I would then you will be an unjust to Listen me. Listen at the Bible. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 3. I will have you know. That the head. The head. Of every man. Of every man. Is Christ. Is Marvin Muhammad. Is Christ. Is Marvin. Is Christ. Is Marvin. Is Christ. You're no more Christ. Jesus preached about these false That's right. Christ. That's right. Amen. Okay. Amen. Listen at the scripture. Listen at the Bible. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. And at verse 23. Verse 23. Then if any man. If any man. That include you. That's right. And if I got anybody that came with you think they Christ, you can come up here too. Amen. Because I don't, I don't. They didn't say that. No. Uh, that's all right. I don't tolerate men insulting the scriptures. Amen. No. Well, you know. You know. I, won't I was told that from no I was told at all. Amen. I was told that you would hear me out. I heard you, and you didn't no, lie you so much until it vexed no, my sir. spirit. No, that's what yes, sir, I am not lying. You done lied so much. Amen. Didn't he ask me to prove what I said? Listen at the script. Didn't he ask me to prove 24. what I said? Yeah, don't 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 bend that. Sir. Well, then why not let me prove it? All right, Mr. Christ, just hold it then. You will get, you will get your scripture. Why not let me prove it? You will get a chance. Read the All scriptures. Right. Listen. Matthew chapter 24 and at verse 23. Listen at the scriptures. Then if any man. If any man. Shall say unto you. Shall say to you. Lo. Lo. Here is Christ. Here is Christ. Or there. Or, you see, the Lord knew somebody like him was coming. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Whatsoever thing was written the full time was written for you know how many men popped up on the scene Amen. before he was born. That's right. And said there was Christ. That's right. That been done for years. Amen. Listen. Then if any man shall say unto you, if any man say to you, Lo, here is Christ. Here is Christ. Or there. Or there. Believe it not. What? Believe it not. We don't believe a word of you. Amen. For. For. There shall arise. There shall arise. False Christ. That's you. Okay, go ahead. That's you. I'm and the false prophets. And false prophets. That's you. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And, and shall show great signs. And shall wonders. show, well, he's not showing anything, but go ahead. In so much. In so much. That if it were possible. If it were possible. They shall deceive. They shall deceive. The very elect. Uh, keep reading. Keep reading, brother. Be behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. Well, this Keep is considered reading. a secret chamber. Keep reading. He'll read. I'll tell him when to read. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is considered yeah. a secret chamber. That's right. Because this is the house of God, a sacred place. That's right. And we have a Christ in here. Christ here. Amen. And the scripture says. Behold he is in the secret chambers. He's in the secret chambers. Believe it not. Don't even believe him. Amen. 
What else? For as the lightning cometh out of the east and, what? and shineth even unto the west, yeah. so, also shall, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now stop right there. Yeah. Didn't I tell you I'm the Son of Man? You can tell us you're Napoleon. Just a moment. Just a moment. <laughs> but didn't I tell you that I'm the Son of Man? Yeah, you told us that lie. Go ahead. Okay. All right. See, now, now before, first of all. You're Christ. First of all. What's the matter with you, Marvin? Yeah. <laughs> if I'm if I'm a liar, if I am a liar, then why are you afraid to hear my lie and then correct it? Oh, we're not. Go ahead. Go ahead now. Get busy now. I know that what I'm saying is hard to hard on anybody's ears. Oh, it's hard on mine. I believe it. But uh. But I, that's, I, I cannot stand here and not tell you what I know. Go ahead, brother. So now it says, this is the 15th chapter of the Holy Quran and the first chapter of Hebrews. <laughs> I hope your television viewers are bearing with us. Amen. It isn't that often you get a chance to see Christ on television. <laughs> now, now, first thing I want to say again. I, I still want to say again that I did not tell you that I'm Christ. I told you I'm the head of it. Now you that's the, what I told you. You the head of Christ? I told you that I'm the head of them. Oh, what well, the Bible said the head of Christ is God. That's right. Now, You're God now? I'm the, I'm the Lord of men. You're God Almighty? Just a moment. Let me, let me deal with this first thing. Yeah, you deal with that. Okay. Now it says... This is the uh, 28th verse mm -hmm. of the Holy Quran. It says, And when thy Lord said to the angels, I'm going to create a mortal, that's a man, of sounding clay, of black mud fashioned into shape. So when I have made him complete and breathed into him of my spirit, fall down making obeisance to him. Now this man is the head of the angels. And what I'm telling you is that is a prophecy about me. And you're the head of all now, the prophets. Yes. Well, what, now in Hebrews, it says the same thing. Go ahead, brother. It says, God, who in sundry times and in di diverse, meaning different manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days now the last days is talking about the Sabbath day which you are living in now. It says, have in these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he hath appointed heir of all things, inheritor of all things. And what? By whom also he made the world. That's you? Just a moment, just a moment. Now when you inherit something, someone else has to pass away. All of the prophets have now passed away. And I have inherited their books. And because of that inheritance, you see, I'm not, I'm not what uh, you would call the messenger of Allah, but I am what the scripture refers to as the messenger of the covenant because it is the covenant of God that gave life to my mind. And so I inherited that. And then it says, who being the brightness of his glory. You know, when you talk about the, the brightness of his glory, the, the brightness of that light out there is the intensity to which it shines. You know, Don't I, do that, I'm, please. I, I'm a patient man. This the, the brightness of his glory the word is the glory of God. Can I stop? And the minute? brightness of his glory is the understanding of it. Let me stop and you. And that's minute. what I... Let me stop you a minute. Let's back up before you go down there. Let's get this last part. First chapter of the book of Hebrew. This is him. He said, God who has sundry times and the direst man is spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken to us by his son. This is, say he's talking about him. Whom he hath appointed heir of all things, 
by whom also he made the worlds. worlds. You said this is you. You made the worlds? That's what I told you. I'm the beginning of God's new creation. You made this the worlds? This is what's going to take place now. You're going to make the worlds? Yes. How are you going to do that? The <laughs> mind that Allah has put in me uh -huh. is the mind that I'm here to offer to each and every one of you. And you're going to make the worlds? As world. it is written, let this mind be in you that was also in the holy prophets, in Christ. And the, the mind of them cannot be in you if the understanding of what they, are t what they taught is not in you. All right. All right I'm here all right. to put it in you. Listen. All right. You, all right. This is not going nowhere. Uh, I'm going to cut it right here. All right, Brother Marvin, I'm glad you came. Right. Uh, to you that are here. Well, let me, let me greet the people so I can go. All right, go ahead and greet I the I thank you for taking the time to hear me, the little that you did. And I, I want each of you to know that it is written, and especially you, brother. Yeah. That it, it's written that the Son of Man came not to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man, it'll be forgiven them. So if at any time you change your mind and want to hear more, that just a moment. You don't burn bridges where you go. The, that, that, is, that is an evil. I did not come to you as a, as a hater of you. I came to you as a lover of you. And regardless to how you feel about me now, as far as I'm concerned, I, 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 have, I have nine children. And I know that they don't understand everything. Just like when I was a child, I didn't understand everything. But you digest what I said. I know it cuts against the grain. I grew up in the church. I know it cuts against the grain and what you have sad. been come to believe. So sad. But if I, if I don't say these things, we would never uh, have any kind of beginning of a building of a bridge between us. So you go on and believe what you, what you believe. If you are at peace in what you are in, then you would be a fool to leave it. If you are not at peace in what you are in, you are a fool to remain in it. Because anything that does not bring peace to you, God is not with you to be in that. So, so by all means, be at peace. That's what I want for my people. If I can't bring peace to you, I don't, I don't want to do anything to you. So, uh, like I said, I love you, brother. Yes, sir. And, I, and I, that ain't going to change. All right, brother. So. Thank you, Con. Eleven chapter First Corinthians. Amen. He said he's head of all the prophets mm. and head of Jesus, head of Christ. Head of Christ. Mm. Amen. First Corinthians. Let us examine the Bible. Amen. All right. First Corinthians chapter eleven and at verse three. Get at verse one. At verse one. Be followers of me. Be followers of me. Even as I also am of Christ. The Apostle Paul said. Can I get a copy of this tape? Oh yes. Oh yes. We'll make sure you get a copy of it, brother. Thank you. All right. Apostle Paul say, even as I am of, of Christ. Christ. Now I praise you, brethren. Uh, brother, disconnect his microphone, brother Dan. Let's, let's kind of work quick and disconnect this microphone. Pay attention. The Apostle Paul said, I praise you, brethren. That you remember me in all things. That you remember him in everything. And keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Listen. But I would have you know. The scripture says, I will have you know. That the head of every man. The head of every man. Is Christ. Is Christ. And the head of the woman. And the head of the woman. Is the man. Is the man. And the head of Christ. And the head of Christ. Is God. Now this brother said, he's Christ's head. Amen. That's saying he's God. That's right. The one in the scriptures who's addressed as a law. Right. You are the head. Of Christ? Of Christ. Most men I've talked to who broke off from the nation of Islam mm -hmm. either made themselves 
God mm -hmm. or made themselves the Messiah. That's right. Amen. Why can't we just be children That's right. of the Most High God? That's all. There's only one Messiah. That's right. Just one. That the scriptures talk about, and the scriptures have never declared the arrival of more than one. Amen. The Amen. scripture talks about Jesus, Jesus as the Messiah in the Quran and in the Bible. Mm -hmm. The nation of Islam says Elijah Muhammad was the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Now they said Farrakhan is the second Messiah. Oh. Marvin, <laughs> will the real Messiah please stand up? Amen. Amen. They say when I speak like this, I speak harsh words. People, sincere people, are victims of this type of ignorance. That's right. Sincere people are robbed out of the hard earned money Amen. out of these type of fictitious religions Amen. religion is the act of deception when God is not in it that's right we don't need no man trying to make himself God almighty God is God that's it Amen. Lord help him. So I'm saying, well, brother, I felt as though you disrespect him when you call him a false prophet. You can feel any way you want. If a Jesus addressed Herod a fox. That's right. According to the way he acts. That's right. In any time you will denounce the scriptures, Israel. Amen. Never was in bondage, the children of Israel. My Lord. The nation have tried to make that act to just be the black man here in America. I admit, Egypt mm -hmm. and America is symbolic in character. Mm -hmm. But the world has the spirit of Egypt. That's right. The scripture teaches us the whole world lies in wickedness. Amen. Let us not just look at the wickedness that white people committed. No, no and try to overlook the wickedness of black people. That's right. Amen. What men, what color was the men that pulled the trigger on one of the greatest spokesmen in the history of black people? Amen. What color was the men that shot Minister Malcolm? They wasn't white? No, they weren't. Black man. Yeah. Were they devils? Hmm. Oh, they wasn't devils because they had color? My Lord. This type of foolish. That's what it is, foolish. Separatism. Amen. Racist garbage. Amen. Hmm. In the Quran. Oh, I wish I had my Quran here. Hmm. I believe it's Sura. 59, mm -hmm. it says how God created all forms, all colors. Amen. See, these men are not real Muslims. No, it can't be. These men are not real Muslims. No. They are imposters. Amen. They don't know what Islam is. Uh. Because if they knew what Islam was, they'd be afraid. To stand here and blaspheme scripture. That's right. That's right. You have, there's only one true Islam. Mm -hmm. So where all this other stuff come from? There's only one true God. So where all these other gods come from? That's right. Television viewers and radio listeners. Oh, the God we serve mm -hmm. is the God of black people. That's right. White people. Amen. Yellow people, mm -hmm. red, mm -hmm. brown, and any other color. Any other color. For a man to stay stand here mm. and say he have the white man in him, mm -hmm. and yet 
white man can't come in the mosque and sit with what's in him. Right. That's right. That is sheer ignorance. Ignorance. Amen. God religion mm. is one. That's right. The one God says, be holy. Mm -hmm. For I mm -hmm. am holy. What is holiness? Holiness offers the completeness of man. That's right. It is the standard and statures of God. Amen. Revealed to the prophets mm -hmm. about himself. Amen. How we as the people should live to please him. That's right. Holiness was not made up of men or scholars. That's right. No prophet started holiness. No, no. No prophet founded holiness. Amen. It has no beginning. No beginning. It has no ending. That's right. Why? Holiness is God. That's right. It is the standard of God. Amen. The thoughts of God. The laws. See all these black brothers and sisters killing and raping and murdering. Amen. Listen. Isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 16. What is it? For the leaders of this people. This is the problem. Radio listeners and television viewers and you that are here. Mm -hmm. The leaders of this people of this people cause them to cause error. them to error. You that are watching and you that are here, mm -hmm. sitting in some type of religious place, <clears throat> are victims. Many are victims. Amen. Of poor leadership. Amen. You have the Bible. Mm -hmm. Some of you have the Quran, mm -hmm. and still being misled. That's right. Think of it. That's right. It's like a person driving a car, mm -hmm. got a map, <laughs> and still get lost. That's right. Haven't you ever experienced that? Amen. You got a map. <laughs> you got a car. Yeah. You even me got a little computer in your car that got the map outlined. That's and right. you still end up in a cornfield. Amen. Amen. This is where these false prophets mm -hmm. and deceivers lead you. Mm -hmm. They don't lead you to God. No. They lead you further and further from God. That's right. And the signs being, that's why the Bible says, they that are led by the Spirit. That's right. Are the sons of God. God. Amen. What do you mean led by the Spirit are the sons of God? God will not lead his ministers wrong. Amen. But if you lean to your own understandings, right. your self-made concepts right. of scriptural principle. That's right. You will lead the people right into hell. Amen. Amen. I just can't hold my peace. Amen. Amen. I see the mess last night. That's a mess. People got hyped up. Yes, they did. Over noise mm. and nothing. Amen. Amen. You see, that stuff work on weak-minded people. Right. Who can't see the importance that God is above all things. That's right. That's right. The leaders of, of this, this people cause them to error. If Islam, Amen. Nation of Islam, I want you to hear this good. If Islam is the religion of God, Amen. And yet white people mm -hmm. cannot be a partaker mm -hmm. of the nation. Amen. Your religion is a religion of deceit. That's right. Prejudice, mm -hmm. wickedness, Amen. and of hell. That's right. That's right. Amen. Of a truth. Listen at the scriptures. In Acts chapter 10 and at verse 34. The Bible says what? Then Peter opened his mouth. Peter opened his mouth. And said of a truth. Of a truth. I perceive that, I perceive God, that God is no respect of persons. Have no respect of persons. But in every nation. Just a black nation. In every nation. Just a black nation. In every nation. Here the man says he's the head of Christ. Head of Christ. And he's over all the prophets. My Lord. When God said a man, God sent truth so everybody can hear it. That's right. That's right. 
Because everybody of every ethnic group, mm -hmm. you got dead, deceived, blind people Amen. in every ethnic group in the world today. That's right. Look at what they're doing today, Easter. That's right. Easter ain't got a thing to do with Christ. Amen. Your big white rabbit and chocolate bunnies and eggs, and you yes. go buy some new suit right. and new hat with your wicked Easter bonnet with the devil on top of it. That's right. That's right. Easter in the scriptures have one meaning, Passover. Passover. Amen. When did the act of Passover took place? Mm -hmm. When God had Moses mm -hmm. terrorizing Egypt. That's right. Moses terrorized Egypt by the power of God in him. And you gonna tell me none of this happened? None of this happened. No, it happened. Mm. A decree was sent from God out of heaven. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the firstborn. firstborn very Egyptian. That's right. They were commanded to get blood from an unspotted lamb and put it over the doorposts. That's right. <laughs> that when the death angel passed through, mm -hmm. it will pass over them that was covered under the blood. That's right. But whoever not under the blood of this lamb. Amen. Death yes. shall be upon the firstborn of his house. That's right. That when Passover took place. Amen. Not eggs. No. Not buying new suits. No, no. Not buying rabbits. Amen. So what did business and the religious world do? Mm -hmm. Took the Bible. Right. Integrated lies. Amen. To remove the true meaning of Easter. That's right. And make billions off the ignorant. That's right. Amen. Billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. Amen. Most folk go to church twice a year, Easter and Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to guarantee lies. Amen. Listen at the prophet Isaiah. For the leaders of this people. <laughs> the leaders of this people. Cause them to error. Do you see the error? To error. I'm a patient man. I listen to them. Amen. It takes patience to endure ignorance. That's right. Here's a man going to come late and say he Christ. <laughs> Here's a man going to come late oh, yeah. and say he's over all the prophets. If you over all the prophets, you should have some work to speak for you. That's right. These Johnny come lately. Amen. Don't want to submit to God. They want to take the place of God. That's it. This spirit. That's right. Is a act, a reenactment right. of Lucifer. That's right. In the 14th chapter of the book of Isaiah. And at verse 12. Follow me. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son of the Son Lord. Of the morning, hold it. Amen. Spell son. S O N. Son of the morning. Mm -hmm. To have a son, you got to have a father. What you mean, or a creator? Creator. That's right. The Bible said, "Should we not rather be subject to the Father of spirits and live?" Yeah. God said, "I create good and I create evil." That's right. To what? Mm -hmm. So man and woman can have a choice whom you shall serve. Amen. It is God's divine purpose for you to serve him, mm -hmm. but he don't force you to serve him. That's right. Son of the morning. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see morning, mm -hmm. morning represent the ending of a day and the beginning of a day. That's right. Because when morning arrives, it starts off with darkness. darkness. That's right. But yet, it is morning. Mm -hmm. And then gradually, when it's moved from early in the morning, mm -hmm. the moonlight disappears. That's right. And the sunlight begins to shine. Amen. <clears throat> Satan is called son of the morning. Son of the morning. 
Because when Adam disobeyed God mm -hmm. and bit of the fruit, mm -hmm. a new nature Amen. arose in the man. Amen. Because remember, before his eyes came open, him and Eve were naked. Naked. Mm -hmm. Now, you ain't walking around no woman today naked <laughs> and ain't checking her out. No, no way. Why? Morning arrived already. That's right. But before Adam's eyes came open, mm -hmm. the nakedness was equal to being clothed. Amen. But when his eyes came open, it resurrected a nature right. in him. And without that nature, there would be no producing. That's right. That's right. You understand? Amen. So here you have the morning, Satan exalt himself. Mm -hmm. Son of the morning. Son of the morning. Introducing a sinful nature. That's right. In man. That's right. Giving man the same character that he has. Amen. An exalted nature. That's right. Listen. How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nation? Regardless of how wicked you are, hmm. God have a way of bringing you down. Amen. God, television viewers and listeners, mm -hmm. and all that are here, if you believe that you are equal to God in any form. That's right. The Lord said, who is my equal, saith the Holy One. That's right. Then God himself. That's right. Will cut you down. Cut you down. Listen. For thou hast said in thine heart. This is what Satan said, and this is what he made people think. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. This is what we was listening to today. Amen. Same thing. That's what the Bible says, you're of your father, the devil. That's and right. the devil's children have a tendency to act like their father. Amen. It is written what? I will ascend into heaven. I will I'm going to ascend into heaven. Into heaven. I will exalt my Listen throne. Listen at the Satan. Mm -hmm. The devil himself. Amen. He going to ascend into heaven, I will. I will exalt my exalt throne. Exalt my throne. Above the stars of above God. Above the stars of God. I Listen will. Listen at his confidence. Mm -hmm. Never, I think. No. Maybe I do this. No, no. I will. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. Among the, con the mount of the congregation. In the sides of the In north. the sides of the north. I will. I will. Ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will. I will. Be like the most high. That's Marvin desire. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Innocent people. Amen become victim this is what we've been preaching about on television and on radio men like this that's right that's right i'm not moved by humble speech right amen and a passive tone of voice amen amen satan talk passive that's, that's right Satan used passive speech mm. to lure the simple. Amen. Because them that are ignorant of God already are searching for something. That's right. And when they're searching for something, Amen. they have become vulnerable. Yeah. They are easy prey Amen. for Satan. Mm -hmm. And then men like Marvin will pop up. Marvin. Oh, it help him. Talking passive. That's right. You don't have to take <laughs> what I say. Lord, Lord. I'm not here to <laughs> mock you. Amen. See, that's the serpent working. That's right. That's right. See, that's the serpent. See, remember the nature of Satan. It is written he's called the old serpent and he's called the dragon. Mm hmm and it is written he's transformed into an angel of light. It is not that he is an angel of light. He's transformed. This is not real light. The sun that you see shine from the heavens is real light. This is transformed. That's right. Into light. Into light. Meaning this is artificial or hypocrite light. Amen. God. Amen. Is real light. He's the light. That's right. All men that come on the scene that's right 
after God. After God. And if they're not out mm -hmm. because of God or by God's permission. Amen. There are men that are of false light. That's right. And when I examine your light. That's right. And see mm. who authorized it to shine. Mm -hmm. If it isn't God. Amen. Then you and your light will go to hell. Go out. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. For the leaders of this people. The leaders. Brothers and sisters, we are blessed people today. Oh, yes. I don't look down upon the man, but I see the need moreover for the word of God to be preached. Amen. Without compromise. That's right. Because sincere people are dying. Amen. While men waste their time trying to be Christ, trying to be Jesus, trying to be Jeremiah, trying to be Isaiah, and can't be a good brother. Amen. Amen. You're trying to be everybody. Everybody. And don't even know yourself. That's true. That's true. It's sad. Yes, it is. Look at you. Hmm. Any of us can be in the same predicament. Amen. Any of us can be blinded in the same manner. Oh, but yes. thanks be to God. That's right. <laughs> it takes divine revelation to properly interpret mm -hmm. the principles of God. Amen. God must get in the mouth that's right of the preacher that's right purify his speech and then alter it amen the purifying process is slow alteration of speech mm -hmm. from uncleanliness to godliness to godliness that's right the prophet Isaiah and Isaiah chapter 6 follow me and at verse 5 listen then said I woe is me for I am undone. I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips. It is good experience for you that are here, you that are watching in, to meet men like this. That's right. Because a lot of us is not able to appreciate truth until you run up on men like this, and then you understand the importance of truth. Amen. It's like a family that's used to having much. Mm -hmm. But father lose job, mother lose job. Mm -hmm. And the children are spoiled by always having. Yeah. And when hard times come, yeah. they don't know how to adapt. That's right. But then when the hard time come, it give you a good lesson. Oh, uh, yeah. And then when you get back on your feet, mm -hmm. you respect the hard time. Amen. You reverence that hard time. Amen. And you learn from the hard times. Oh, yeah. Many of that son receiving in the truth, spoil. That's true. Take truth for granted. That's right. But the end of all things are at hand. That's right. This is just one that was here today. Just one. But Jesus said, many, many false prophets shall come mm -hmm. and shall deceive many, many of us. Amen. One time in our life were deceived. That's right. That's right. Lied to. Lied to. Mm -hmm. Gave our money to support some religion. Amen. And all we got in return was hype. That's right. Entertainment. That's all. Good sounding words and first speech and nothing from heaven amen good sounding words and first speech mm -hmm. and want to use numbers and put a zero behind god and the two under god's feet and that's a three thousand right. and all that religious crap amen that's all it is that's all when it you is. talk about god never mind threes and fours and that's right. fives that's right God is simply one. one. God. Amen. And that's it. Amen. Nothing else. Amen. 
The brother said, to understand God, you got to understand science. Science. To understand God, you need the spirit of God. That's right. That's what you need. It is written, the things of God, no man know but the spirit of God. That's right. That's why the spirit got to get in man. Amen. And acquaint man with the things of God. Right. Science is earthly. Right. Science is carnal. Yes. But if you don't understand the spirit of God. Amen. That's why it is written, the body without the spirit is dead. Is dead. It's dead. Why you think it's in the scriptures how the holy men of God spake mm -hmm. and they was moved by the Holy Ghost, moved by God. Moved by, that's right. They wasn't trying to analyze science. No, no way. The prophets didn't waste their time studying the stars. No. They preached who created the stars. That's right. The prophets wasn't trying to study the moon. Mm -hmm. They preached who created the moon. That's right. They wasn't trying to study how the wind blow. Right. They preached who caused the wind to blow. That's right. That's right. That was God's interest. Amen. God wanted you to know how the Lord mm -hmm. do all these things. That's right. This is what God's interest was. Mm -hmm. To be sure you don't give nobody mm -hmm. like Yakub the credit Amen. for his creation. Amen. While we won't tolerate no religion, no. giving anybody no, no. credit mm -hmm. for what God done. That's right. God made the heavens. That's right. No man. No man. God made the earth. Mm -hmm. No man. Amen. God made the waters. Amen. No man. Mm -hmm. God made men and women. That's right. No man. No man. Amen. This earth that we breathe. That's right. Let's sit below you. Go to God that made the world. This earth mm. that rotates. That's right. Around the sun. Amen. It is, see, this is holiness. Yes. Brothers and sisters, if your religion mm -hmm. is confined to people, mm. your religion is no good. That's right. God religion. Ties in the universe. Amen. Holiness means obedience. That's right. When that sun go down. That's right. That's holiness acting out its course. Amen. When the moon shine at night. Amen. Holiness, holiness. is working. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. When the wind blows on the waters. Amen. That's holiness. holiness. Works. That's right. That's right. Not no. We don't need fractions. No. No. Our God is simply whole. That's all. That's right. We don't need to study mathematics. No, no. You need to learn who God is. Who God is. That's it. The religion of the nation of Islam mm -hmm. says God is simply a man. Mm. A man like them. Lord, Born of a woman. Mm. I would love to meet the woman who had the womb where God fell out of. That's right. That's right. God locked up in the womb. My Lord, my Lord. So I said, well, you preach Jesus Christ is God and Jesus fell from the womb. The flesh, flesh. fell from the womb. Mm -hmm. The prophet fell from the womb. Right. The Messiah fell from the womb. Right. But the highest didn't fall from the womb. That's right. Amen. That's why if you read the scriptures, the angel Gabriel said he shall be called the son of the highest. That's right. That means he is the servant of a power higher than himself. That's right. That's right. Jesus said, I do nothing. Of myself. And oh, listen. Amen. I do nothing. Nothing. Of myself. But as my father. But as the spirit. Hath taught me. Hath instructed me. I speak these I things. speak these things. Amen. Nothing. You false prophets. That's what they and are. And deceivers. That's what they are. And devil deceive liars. That's right. We don't pray to flesh. No. No, no. We pray to the spirit that made the world. That's right. 
We don't bow to flesh. That's right. When we fast, Amen. we're not fasting so flesh can do something for us. That's right. That's right. We don't come here and sing and pray Amen. and wish up flesh. No, no. Why would I wish up something that profit nothing? That's right. Flesh profit of nothing. Give me him. That's right. That was before Abraham. Amen. That's right. Come on, go and take off. That's right. Give me him. That's right. That was before Adam. Amen. Give me him. That was before Esau. Esau. That's right. That was before Cain. Amen. That was before Heba. That's right. And Phelan. Yes. And Rhaegar. Amen. And Sarich. That's right. And Nahor. That's right. And Terah. Amen. Give me him. That was before all of them. All of them. That's right. That's right. Amen. Our religion. Amen. Is before man was. Before man. That's right. Anytime the Bible says according as, he has to chosen as us. God have chosen us in him. In him. Before. Before. The foundation. Before. Mm -hmm. Before. The foundation of the of world. The world that God he should be holy. Was for us to be holy. Be holy. Before the foundation of the world? Before the foundation of the world. Before the foundation. That's right, before. Before it. Amen. Baptists, you can't say that. No, no. Mormons, you can't say that. No, the no. nation of Islam, you can't say it. I trace you back in the 1930s. Amen. You can't say it. No, no. For no. God wasn't before the foundation of the world. No, it wasn't. But God was. That's right. That's right. Elijah Muhammad wasn't before the foundation of the world. No, no. God was. God was. Amen. Amen. Even that flesh, the Son of Man, mm -hmm. Jesus. Right. That fell from the womb. That's right. Who was guided by the Spirit. That's right. That flesh wasn't before the foundation of the world. No, no. No way. No, no. But the Spirit. Spirit. That moved upon the face of the deep. That's right. That's our God. That's our God. That's right. That's right. Amen. The spirit that dropped the firmament in the midst of the waters. That's right. And gave the sea her decree. Amen. The spirit that caused the mountain to lift their nose towards heaven. That's right. And the sons of God shouted for shouted joy. for joy. Amen. The spirit that made the stars, Palladius, Orion, Orion. and Arcticus, and locked down Mazeroth in her season. That's and right. And the chambers of the south. Amen. That's our God. That's our God. Anybody God? Amen. Wonderful. I can find his birth date. Right. That's right. Your God is of hell. Amen. Are Amen. you listening? That's right. That's right. Our God never was born. Never was born. No, no. Our God wasn't created from no darkness. No, no. He ain't come from no darkness. That's right. He is light. He's light. Amen. That's why we're here today. That's right. By God's permission, God brought us here. Amen. Amen. Sincere people, victims, victims of blind leadership. That's right. Leaders that are good speakers, they use words good, mm -hmm. enticing words, enticing words, good sounding, our moving body language. That's right. But no spirit. No spirit in it. They may say, folks say, well, true freedom. It's we not under the white man. <laughs> True freedom oh, yeah. is your knowledge of God. Amen. That's true freedom. That's right. Because the knowledge of God liberates your thinking. That's right. Liberates your heart. Mm -hmm. Liberates your mind, soul, body, and spirit. Amen. Your religions Amen. that contradict God None of you are safe. No, no. As long as God holy way is around. That's right. That's right. Call me what you want. Call me anything you like. Mm -hmm. One of the brothers from the FOI, he was hot when I walked in the building. My Lord. 
He was up there in the stage, just looking at it. He was hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and while the brother was talking from the mosque, mm -hmm. he kept passing around yelling, mm -hmm. Teach the Reverend! Teach the Reverend! All right, Reverend, what about that? Yeah. What about that? That's right, Reverend. Mm -hmm. Teach the Reverend! Mm -hmm. That didn't bother me because this is true. This is true. Amen. I often love that scripture in the Quran that Muqsaq often quotes to me. Yeah. How we will hurl truth at them and knock out their brains. Amen. Truth is different from anything. Yes, it is. For when you have truth, mm -hmm. that's God. That's right. The scripture teaches us hereby know we the spirit, spirit of, truth. of truth. If you got the spirit of truth and I have the spirit of truth, when we get into dialogue, if you got the same spirit I have and that spirit of truth, we got to agree. Got to agree. Amen. Got to agree. Amen. Why? The spirit Amen. works with the heart. That's right. And if the spirit of God is in you, Amen. I don't mean someone that quote the scriptures. No. I don't mean that someone quote the Bible, and that doesn't mean that someone that quote the Quran, and that doesn't mean that someone quote the Torah. That's right. I don't mean God is in you. Amen. The devil quote them. Amen. Yes, the devil preach from the Bible. Yes, he will. The devil preach from the Quran. That's right. And the devil preach from the Torah. Amen. Go ahead, go ahead. It is with those books. Go ahead, go ahead. The devil have blinded men and women and lied to them. Amen. That's what's happened. With those books of religion. That's true. Had damned thousands. That's true. We believe truth to be pure. Amen. We believe truth to be right. Mm -hmm. For we believe that truth is the only true representation of God. That's right. We don't want no fair speech and fool talk. Fool talk. Something that come not even out of left field. Amen. When it doesn't come from left field, it come from the unknown. That's right. That's where it's coming from. It come from the unknown. That's true. The oh. brother that left, old Marvin, he said, if, if, you know, when we want to hear him again, and I don't. No. Amen. No. No, 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 I don't want to hear that foolishness again. No. We're laboring to get people out of that kind of junk. That's right. That's We're right. not going to put people back under it. No. God has set us free with knowledge. Mm -hmm. We're not in bondage no more. Amen. My God, man, I was in bondage years ago mm -hmm. on some false church mm -hmm. being lied to. That's right. Being amused. Amen. Seeing folks shout and all that. Yeah. But nothing was coming from up here. That's right. Television viewers, mm -hmm. examine the churches you're going to. Mm -hmm. See what's coming from up here. Amen. Evaluate what's coming from that pulpit. That's right. See, is it of God? That's right. <clears throat> Someone said, well, you read from the Bible, that's the problem. A lot of men read from the Bible, but their sermon is in some other book. That's true. They got the Bible up here. But they got this sermon all written out. Oh, yeah. If you are of God, mm -hmm. you don't have to write out no sermon and plan words. words. No, no. The Lord said, I will put my words in, in your mouth. In your mouth. That's all we look for Almighty God to do for us. That's right. Put his words That's right. in our mouth. In your mouth. And that our speech will never mm -hmm. be like the speech of men. Amen. See, the speech of men is carnal. Mm -hmm. It is wicked. It is perverse. Mm -hmm. Because they don't speak with the voice of the scriptures. No. They speak by their own opinion. That's right. And the devil gives them strong nerve. Oh, yeah. yeah. Strong nerve. <laughs> He's head of all the prophets. All the prophets. He's head of Christ. My Lord, my Lord. He is Christ. Mm. He is the Messiah. Mm. He's head of all the prophets as if the prophets need him. Amen. Do you know each and every one of us? God ain't got to have us. No, no. Understand it, people. That's right. It's nothing about you. 
That's, right. That's so important. Mm -hmm. God got to have you. Who are you? Amen. He was God before we got here. That's right. And without God, where would we be? Where would we be? Mm -hmm. That's why I marvel how young men and young women, middle aged and old, mm -hmm. can walk the streets so arrogant. Mm -hmm. As if there is no God in the land. Amen. You cuss God. You blaspheme God. This man blasphemed God I don't know how many times. That's and the right. devil keep him cool. That's right. Give me the 30th chapter of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah, amen. Follow me in your scriptures. Isaiah chapter 30. And at verse 9. Listen. That this is a rebellious people. This is a rebellious people. Lying children. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. This is the problem here in America and the world. Amen. Which say to the seers, see not. This is what they say to the preacher. See not. Ah, uh, don't you go seeing us. And don't go talking about God so much. Right. Can't you give us your own opinion? Mm-hmm. White man from a brown germ. Amen. You yeah, think you're seeing something from the X Files? <laughs> <laughs> Disneyland preaching. That's right. Goofy. That's what that is. Disneyland preaching. That's what it is. That's what it is. Goofy. <laughs> Amen. Goofy. Disneyland <laughs> preaching. Oh, yeah. That's all it is. Because what would I do if I marry a white woman? Mm -hmm. And like my wife, raise your hand, my wife. She, she says she's black. <laughs> <laughs> but if she was a white woman, mm -hmm. that doesn't make her less of a woman. That's right. But look at the teaching of the nation. If I married a white woman mm -hmm. and our children will be mixed mm -hmm. and if the black man is God by nature mm -hmm. and the white man is the devil by nature mm -hmm. what is my children what are the children amen are my children both devils and God my Lord if so for God amen. was both Satan and according to their teaching, God. That's right. Well, if God and the devil mm. coerced <laughs> a religion, mm. you know that religion got to be confused. That's right. Got to be. Listen. Which say to the seers, see not. See not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. That's what folk want. Oh, Gino, you hit too hard, man. Oh. Take it easy. Yeah. Folk is dying by the thousands. Amen. Religion has set back and took it easy for years. Oh, yeah. And just snowballed you for years. Mm -hmm. And all you did was went to church. Others of you went to church and joined some quartet group. Hey, Amen. Haven't learned nothing. Learn anything. That's right. The preachers waste their time and moan and grunt with the organ behind them like a monkey. Amen. You ever seen a, that fella grind that machine, a monkey jump around? That's right. That's the way the preachers do. That's right. They play the music, mm. and he jumps around. Jumping around. Oh, it happens. Church is nothing but entertainment. Amen. You know, my daughter said to me today, Sierra, and she's nine, I believe. Mm. Eight, I think. <laughs> well, she's one of them numbers. She said, you know, Daddy, mm. church is just like school. Mm -hmm. You go and learn. You take a break for lunch, and you come back and learn some more. I said, that's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Oh, we believe in singing in the worship of God. Mm -hmm. But if not one song is sung, yeah. let us be taught. That's right. If the choir don't hit a note, that's true. let us be taught. That's right. 
If no one play no instruments, Amen. let us be taught. That's it. That's it. Amen. Amen. It is a sad condition. This is sad. That the world is in. That's right. Sad. Very sad. Oh yeah. And what makes it so bad, these newly come preachers mm. are making matters worse. Amen. They're not striving for the betterment and the improvement of God's people. No. But we're being pushed mm. and pushed further mm -hmm. into ignorance. Amen. And to darkness. Mm -hmm. And to stupidity. Amen. And what people are doing it from every ethnic group on the planet. That's right. Listen. Speak unto us smooth things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. So imagine that. Want me to prophesy and preach lies to the people. Yeah. I'm going to tell you the truth if you threaten my life. That's right. Because y'all one man went scared of threats. Amen. Ain't afraid of no one walking on this earth. Amen. Because I know God rule you. Yeah. And you can't get to me unless you get God permission. That's right. You can plot and plan, mm -hmm. you that's in the nation, you know it's written in your Quran, mm -hmm. that we plan, Allah plan. Yeah. But Allah is the greater, is the better of planners. That's right. No one that's right. can do anything, anything. Amen. without God's permission. That's right. Now I have God's permission Amen. to declare God's word. That's right. I don't have God's permission. Mm -hmm. To give you a blessing plan. No. I don't have God permission no, no. to tell you God got a miracle with your deceived name on it. Amen. I don't have God permission. Amen. To touch you with a fake healing plan. That's right. I don't have God permission mm -hmm. to make you have confidence and rabbit foots and rosary chains. Amen. I don't have God permission. Amen. To tell you to talk to Mary. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. God gave me permission preach the word. to preach the word. Preach the word. Preach it. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell them whether they like it or not. That's right. Preach, preach it. it. Preach it. Amen. That's it. I don't have God permission. That's it. To tell you he came from darkness. Amen. I have God permission. Amen. To tell you he made the darkness. That's right. That's right. So religion. Amen. Have fun while you can. Yeah. Hypocrite. My Lord. But show in. Oh, yeah. These fancy sounding apostles. Mm -hmm. Self made Jesus. Amen. Little Junior Muhammad's. That's right. That's little right. apartment dwelling Moses. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have your fun. Have your fun. Keep playing with the lies of people. Mm -hmm. Keep playing religious tricks. Amen. And religious games with people. Mm -hmm. Just like God cut off the prophets of Baal. Oh, yeah. He's going to cut you off. Cut you off. And cast you into the lake of fire. That's right. Where the beast and the false and prophet. The false prophet. Are. Are. Oh, amen. The word of God is true. Remember what the scripture says in the ninth chapter of the prophet Isaiah. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. Leaders. Leaders. They're making people error from every area of religion. That's right. Every area of religion. Yeah. Had a Trinitarian. It's like every woman was trying to get them little cells in the spotlight. Amen. Amen. Fella think he can bribe me or make me feel good by giving me a a rubber check. That's right. Now, who do you know going around giving out one hundred thousand dollars? Thousand dollars. Certified. Certified. Amen. Going by me like I'm some male hoe. That's right. What's the matter with these people? That's right. Mm. Oh, yeah. They want to make little names for themselves. Mm -hmm. We're all about God here. Amen. Religion I want to play. Amen. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. That's right. Religion I want to play with God. Mm -hmm. You call me to preach for you, I'll preach. Mm -hmm. 
but we won't waste our time with you. No. God is life. That's right. That's God right. is everything. Amen. And you don't want to play church, mm. play religion, mm -hmm. and think I'm going to lighten up on you? Mm. God has sent me to chastise you. That's right. That's right. Amen. Burn it in your brain. Amen. We don't want your money. Mm -hmm. We're not interested in your fame. No, no. A lot of folk feel his notoriety. Mm -hmm. Oh, the nation of Islam, it says, just human beings. That's all. In darkness. In darkness. That they call light. That's right. And if that's light, I, know. I don't want no parts of it. Amen. The leaders of this people call them to error and they that are led of they them that are led by these leaders are destroyed. That's what got my mouth so wide. That's right. Do you want to see your loved ones destroyed? Destroyed. No, no. Who in the world wants to see their loved ones destroyed? Amen. Turn your television on. What do you see? Nothing. That's right. International evangelists. That's right. Don't preach nothing. Nothing. Amen. Just look at them. Mm -hmm. Listeners, you don't like what I say, but you know I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Because after we go off, one come on after us, and one came on before us. Oh. And just compare the message. Mm -hmm. They beg you for money. That's right. That's what they do. They make you believe money is the key to success in God. That's right. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is the key to success in God. Amen. Amen. It's a disgrace. Yes, it is. It is. Can you imagine mm. if God was to allow the prophets of old huh. to be resurrected from the dead mm -hmm. and walk the streets of America? My Lord. Remember, the prophets of old was able to take your life naturally. That's right. Take it a is. sword and kill you. Amen. While if the prophets of old was living mm. and walk the streets of America. Mm. They are walking 99% of all religious buildings. Amen. And kill everything that was up here trying to preach from God's word. That's right. Yes, they would. Those men represent God with fear. Yes, they did. Those men represent God with respect. Amen. Those men represent God with humility. Amen. You represent God today arrogant. That's right. Self-will. That's right. Think you better than everybody else. Amen. Think everyone should look up to you more than they look up to God. That's right. Want everyone to bow to you. We bow to no man on the planet but God himself. Amen. So I want to say to you of the nation of Islam, mm -hmm. hmm. it's sad that you couldn't defend yeah. your belief. Amen. See, if I got a God in darkness, mm -hmm. I can't see his word. That's right. I don't want no God that came from darkness. Look at <laughs> the foolishness of this teaching. Think of this. Mm -hmm. You and I come from the wombs of our mothers. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the characteristics of mother and father is in us. Mm -hmm. So if darkness, if God comes from darkness, mm -hmm. wouldn't that make some darkness in God? In God, that's right. If you look at it from a scientific <laughs> that's right. perspective. That's right. That's right. If you use the common denominator one <laughs> an underlying one with darkness mm -hmm. and use the next number under that to get God ah, foolishness that's foolishness if God came from darkness like we come from our mothers mm -hmm. then God shall have some darkness in him that's right. like we have the character of mother and father in us that's right and if you say to me well now you got it Mm. Now we got to dive back to the book. That's right. Listen at the scriptures. In First John chapter one and at verse five. What is it? This then is the message. This 
is, is the, the message, message which we have heard which of him. We have heard of, of who? Of him. I was talking about of God. And declare unto you. We declare unto you that God is light. That God Amen. is light. Is light. And and in him. In him is no. Is no darkness, darkness at all. At all. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. None. No darkness at all. That's right. God is light. God is light. And the God we serve, right. there's no darkness in him at all. No darkness. That's right. Absolutely the God we serve. No darkness at all. Our God, no darkness in him. No darkness. Our God never was in the dark. That, that's right. Our God that's never right. came from the dark. That's right. If never. we say... Never. Never. Amen. Listen. If we say that we have fellowship. If we say we have fellowship. With him. With God. And walk in darkness. And walk in darkness. We lie. You're a liar. And do not the truth. And you don't do the truth. But. But. If we walk in the light. As what? As he is in the light. What do we have? We have fellowship one with another. Amen. Amen. We emphasize the television viewers. Believe mm -hmm. what's written. What's written. That's right. I don't care how sweet a man sounds. That's right. When he tell you, I don't have to give you no scripture. Right. And out of ignorance say, because the prophets didn't give you no scripture. Right. That's ignorant. God was using the prophets to write scripture. Write scripture. That's right. That's right. Even Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Refer Amen. To the prophets. To the prophets. Refer to scripture. That's right. The apostles came here. That's right. Refer to Jesus, Jesus and the prophets. That's right. Until Paul said, I told you no other thing. No other thing. But what Moses and the prophets, and the prophets did, say, did say should come. Should come. That's right. That's right. Amen. So these arrogant, self-righteous, know-nothing men. That's right. Know nothing. You become so arrogant, you can tell folk, I don't have to. My Lord, help. Give you no scripture. No scriptures. And the ignorant. That's right. That's right. We live by the scripture. By the scriptures. Amen. Amen. You can't teach me God law out of a comic book. No, no. You can't teach me God law out of some book you get from college. No way. God's law is in the scriptures. scriptures. That's right. Scripture says this. Mm -hmm. I will show thee that. Which is noted. Which is noted. In the scriptures, in the scriptures of, truth. of truth. That's right. Amen. We believe what's written. Believe what's written. We are hurl what's written in anybody's head. That's right. We believe. That's right. What's written? The reason why we declare our religion to be holy mm. is written. It's written. We don't call it nothing else. Amen. Amen. We don't call ourselves Baptists and Christianity. No. And Methodist and Lutheran, Episcopalian. No. And Mormon. We don't call ourselves that None stuff. Of that. None of that. We believe what's written. The Bible says right. holiness, holiness without which. No man shall see the Lord. No man shall see the Lord. No man. Amen. I don't want nothing else. That's right. If God is holy, let me be where he, where is. he is. Amen. Amen. If God is holy, I don't want to be less than that. That's I right. want to be that. That's right. Who can better teach me to be that than his word? Amen. Brothers Amen. and sisters. And visitors, mm -hmm. you that are watching and listening, I don't care what religious meeting you go to, if that man can back up his talk with the scriptures and will tell you he don't have to give you none, mm -hmm. get out of there. Get out of there. That's right. Leave it. That's right. That's right. Close the door behind you. Amen. When Amen. they tell you that, tell them. Alhamdulillah. That's Get right. going. Get going. Amen. They Amen. tell you that in the church? Peace be. Peace be. That's right. Get going. That's right. 
Get out of there. Satan have used religion. Satan have used religion mm -hmm. as an art to blind them who are ignorant of God. That's right. And when you are ignorant, are you listening, of God. Amen. Then religion sounds good. That's right. It's like you can go to a restaurant. Mm-hmm. You know, how the fuck want to be fancy? Go to a French restaurant. <laughs> Get that menu. Mm -hmm. I'll take some sukata, some perfume, some flame, and some. See, you see, all you ask for uh, was some water and a few cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> A mm -hmm. fancy name. Yes. But then they come marching out with some spaghetti and meatballs. That's right. That's right. You know, uh, uh, orange soda. Amen. <laughs> but you thought you, oh man, you thought you were just getting it on. You, a woman just, just fascinated. I, 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 I order for you. I order for you. Right. I, I right. take some chocolate uh, and, and he don't know what it is. Yeah, what it is? I order uh, some X car got. I order some uh, flat mac man, uh, some flat filet mac moon need noon, and some moo. <laughs> All right, he come back. Right. Spaghetti and meatballs. That's right. Ginger ale. Amen. Apple pie with a drop of vanilla ice cream. Right. That's it. That's it. And, but it sound good. Yeah. Uh, when it was red. Mm hmm. Fair speech to the ignorant. That's right. Is designed in the mouths of deceivers. That's right. To lure you into darkness.